All right, so the first thing we should always do when factoring these polynomials out is to see if there's anything that we can factor out from all three terms. And if we look at 3 and 14, 14 is not divisible by 3 because 1 plus 4 is 5, and 5 is not divisible by 3. So we know that 14 is not divisible by 3. Well, you guys probably just knew that anyways, but whatever. So what we're going to do now is identify, right, we've got A is 3, B is a positive 14, and C is 15. So A times C, which would be 3 times 15, is 45. So we're looking at factors of 45, and hopefully we can find something that will add up to the positive 14, the B value. So 1 and 45, uh, and even with the negatives, those are no good. Uh, it's not divisible by 2. It is divisible by 3, though. Well, we've already seen 3 and 15, right? Uh, that should get us pretty close to 14, but if we add these two together, whether they are positive or negative, we'll get negative 18 and positive 18 by adding these two. So 3 and 15 are no good. Uh, what about, well, 5? 5 and 9. This should work because when we add these two together we get that positive 14 which is what we wanted in the first place. So this tells us what we need to break the 14 up into. Right? We've got the 3x squared but 14x we're gonna break up into do you want the 5x first or the 9x? Five. 5. So we'll do plus 5x and then plus 9x because when we combine those two we get 14x and this is plus 15. So now we can look at these individually. Let's look at these first two. All right, so 3 and 5 can be factored out. Uh, there's no common factor between those two. But the x squared and the x, we can factor out an x from those. So I'd still have a 3x plus 5, which is very nice. Next, let's look at the 9x and the 15. Those are both divisible by 3. And there's no x's to pull out. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. And we have the x plus 15 divided by 3 is 5. And once again, we see that we have the same factor for both of these, these two terms now. So we got 3x plus 5 that we can pull out. And uh, I guess I'll do it in green. So we're going to pull out a 3x plus 5 from both terms. And in the second binomial, we've got the x, and we've got the 3 that were left over, and that was a positive 3 or plus 3. So that is it.